Deadliest catch, missing ship. The Alaskan waters are filled with unpredictability and dangers. The vast seas and harsh weather conditions make it a very rough place. As a result, there have been many times where ships on the show went missing while out in sea. He lost his circle to the right. compass. He lost his circle. I don't even know what direction I'm going. I won't even tell you which direction. After a productive day on the Time Bandit ship, the crew was eager to return home to their families. However, the ship lost signal on their way back in the middle of the sea. There was no land around them and they had no way of communicating for help or further assistance. Remember I said, remember I said, turn it. Oh, there it goes again. There it goes. Oh, no, here's no, oh, no. The antenna needs to be checked. Wait till daylight and we go trace the antenna. That's the first thing. Understandably, the crew was starting to tense up and try to fix these issues. However, after multiple crew members gave it their best shot, they weren't able to fix the signal problems and now had to use the clouds in the night sky and the stars to navigate their way home. Right over there. You're being us right out the window. There's yeah, an opening in the clouds. I see your doors out. You got it, mate. My first season of crab fishing has been a little while. Unfortunately, they did not have the best luck as the following morning, the crew was still stranded in the middle of the ocean. Captain Jonathan, truthfully, had no idea which direction his crew was going in and people started to worry significantly. For some stupid reason. This is where the wire actually goes into the device on the back here. That side I got loose. The crew was getting worried and started investigating the ship's antenna for potential malfunctions. Still, they struggled to fix anything and spent another day having no clue where they were. During the night time, however, Jonathan saw a light. All that light right there. That's easy enough. The Saga. Hey Anderson, want to try 18? Hey, you on here? Yeah, I gotta watch that. Thankfully, Jonathan was able to find Captain Jake Anderson on his ship, the Saga, when he needed it the most. Jake Anderson was able to guide the Time Bandit and the crew back to land, and Jonathan was extremely grateful. Never thought the saga would be my guiding light. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh my lord. The deadliest catch operates in an area where the sea is unpredictable and can be really unsafe. Sadly, a well-known ship in the community went missing after leaving the land during dangerous weather conditions. This vessel was called the Destination. After the Destination went off hunting for some crabs, the crew and the ship went missing. Nobody heard of them in a dangerously long time, and the Coast Guards started looking for them. A sad update on the search for that Seattle crab boat that vanished in Alaska. The Coast Guard called off its search for the Destination last night. I made it home and I'm safe, and then I heard about this. It just too close to home. Tragically, all six brave crew members of the crew passed away. After some investigating, people began to speculate that the ship sank due to ice building up on the ship and the captain not being prepared for the weather conditions. The indicative of a crab boat going down, uh, no life raft, no survival suits, no nothing, and yes, it's that destination.
Tig Hansen was extremely close to the captain of the destination, Jeff, and they had a strong relationship. The death of Jeff and his crew really devastated Sig Hansen, as he understands the dangers that come with the job. Sorry, Sig. I know you want me to probably say something, but I... maybe just give me a little bit and all. The Soon after this entire tragedy, a diver was able to find the remains of the destination ship way below the sea. It was extremely depressing to witness after knowing what happened to the ship and its crew members. We saw the keel of that boat as we drove up and over it. We saw the destination on the side. Destination. This is it. There's a lot of things that are going through your mind at that time. The Northwestern ship got an emergency distress call stating that the Scandies Rose went missing and apparently was found to be sinking and that they needed help immediately before it was too late. There's reports that the Scandies Rose has gone down and that it's missing. I don't know if they were in their suits. I don't know if they're on board. The U.S. Coast Guard went to the last known position of the Scandies Rose, and they had to work overtime to attempt to find this crew and rescue them. And to locate these survivors. We're gonna find them. There's always a chance in the next hour or two that they might be able to find the guys. Unfortunately, it was already too late, and the ship had already sunken. What made this far more depressing was that five of the crew members on the Scandies Rose passed away, leaving only two survivors, showing the true dangers of the waters. Down he goes, Dean, we're, get up, we're sinking. <laughs> I go, what? So what do you have to do in a, a moment like that? Pray. It was frantic as the boat turned and the seven-man crew scrambled to escape in survival suits. So I started passing out the suits to everybody, telling them to get them on. And I'm freaking out. The boat's going down like it's going fast. It's fast. Dean and John stepped out into the frigid air. The boat was on its side. I'm screaming at these other guys. Get out of the boat. You have to get out of the boat. You've got to get out.